Welcome to the Japanese Grand Prix predictions in 2024. I'm Sogan and I'm joined in by the Captain AGX. Hello. Good to see you again. It's an exciting weekend because we're used to Japan being uh, at the back end of the season and suddenly it's at the front. Yeah, true. It's a very unusual scene, but it looks like it's going to continue that way. We're going to have Japanese Grand Prix uh, early in the season from now on. It's um, pretty pretty interesting, at least from the weather point of view, because we're forecast for some for some rain on Sunday, which could spice things up. Yeah, um, we're, we're used to rain on Saturday as well. I'm, <laughs> have yeah, two yeah. qualies in the last five years been just had to not go ahead because of rain, or am I am I bugging there? Is it only one? Um. I'm sure about one I'm of sure them. We... I, I I don't remember the second one. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I think there was a race that had to be red flag because of rain. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Also, there was this there was this race that had to had to be like postponed day or something like that. Like qualifying yes. was moved to Sunday because of a, a huge storm or something like that. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Of. Yeah, good memory though. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Despite the fact I'm rather old at this point, I still got some memory done. You're like mm-hmm. mid twenty. You're not old. <laughs> well, it's gonna it's gonna be definitely mid twenty soon. So um, I'm not looking forward to it. I would classify mid twenties as twenty three to twenty eight, probably. Well, I'm gonna be bang in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, shall we move to the predictions themselves? Um, this is a very interesting circuit, one of the most liked circuit across the board. I, my opinion, it's it's all right. It's not like one of my favorite circuits. It's very very annoying to drive on the F1 games, and um, yes, <laughs> and yeah, I I just never enjoyed the track itself as a driver. I don't know, maybe it's just very exciting, very different in real life when the drivers actually have grip because I never have grip when I'm driving in the, sec- the sector one. But uh, I assume the drivers like it because it's a uh, it's a very uh, unique thing. Those the sector one is like a lot of a lot of medium high speed corners uh, one after another. So yeah, it must be exciting for the drivers, not as much for the fans because I don't feel like this is one of those circuits that promote overtaking that much. Right. Yeah, it's not. Uh, you don't really get money overtakes. The straight, the start finish straight's low. Uh, they don't have a DRS on the big straight. Yeah, maybe it's, it's, it's a. Yeah. <laughs> it's a difficult one. Yeah, maybe some kind of a faster chicane and. Uh... Like before the start finish straight, because you know, uh, there's this back straight that doesn't have DRS for some reason. One for DR, the famous corner, and then this, there's this awful chicane that was awful to drive in the F1 games as well. Uh, <laughs> in, in, re- in real life, it's also not very liked by the drivers. Uh, most of the little Tifi who didn't even bother to, to go that way, I just turned in earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a it was a pure Latifi moment. That was like 2022, I think, or 2021. I can't remember exactly. Uh, I think 2022. That was a that was the rain affected practice or whatever. Um, yeah, track itself, as we both said, kind of kind of average in terms of overtaking, but good for the drivers at least. Rain could bring some unpredictability into it. Even though we know who the best wet weather driver is, as well as who's in the best car and who's probably going to win, but that's for the predictions themselves. We can go to them as well, I guess. Okay, um, I'm going to let you start this time. I'm pretty sure I, I, I oh, was, okay, okay. I was the first one last time. Oh, I cannot remember, but I'm happy to start. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even going to do the bit where I'm like, oh, who do we think is going to be first? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not, never risk it. Never risk it. I may have had a bad weekend, still not risk it. Yeah, even 
even if he doesn't have a fastest car, you just kind of expect Max to be first anyway. <laughs> it's a safe bet. And I, I, I understand. I'm picking the same pick. I'm sorry, you're not gonna gain points here. I, I don't feel like there's anyone who can challenge Max for pole position. Maybe for the race victory, if if some shenanigans happen. Obviously, uh, we saw that one time that Charles was almost able to overtake Max into turn one, but Max then kept it around the outside in wet, in wet weather as well. That was a very interesting battle for for first place. I think it was 2022 or 2023. So perhaps we could see some battles for the race win. Maybe I'm too optimistic, but I think pole position is pretty much set. Last year, we saw a huge gap by Max to P2, like over half a second. And to Perez, it was like eight tenths of a second, something ridiculous. Max is a different beast on this track, and it's, it's probably going to happen yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, and uh, yeah, but, but you know, it's a, it's a boring, boring choice, but we, we, we both know uh, it's the likely one, shall we say. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, P2. The race for second place. I'm going to put, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, he's coming off a good weekend. I'm going to put signs. Uh, obviously, the close is arguably the better of the two. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to signs. Fair I, th- I think he'll do well. I think he's coming off an incredible weekend. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, completely fair pick. And I honestly... Would pick the same if I just didn't have my uh <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's just whenever I pick signs over nice. cleric, I just no no no, it's just <laughs> this weird feeling. Uh, whenever I pick signs over cleric, I just feel like I'm I'm just losing points. I don't know, it's just this internal feeling that yeah. I just can't do that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put Charles in P2 as I kinda spoiled already. Uh, Ferrari second fastest car. Maybe McLaren can challenge them, but I don't feel like Red Bull is going to be challenged this race, especially Max Perez. Even if the car is like not very good, I still feel like he's going to be comfortably in like top six. Just, just the Red Bull suits this track every year. It does. That's just how it is. Yeah, Ferrari, Leclerc did a really good job in the past years. Finished like. The top four every single time, I think, uh, except the uh, the one time I was in a Sauber. I don't know if it DNF from that race, but that was a long time ago. And yeah, I just feel like Slacker is gonna do better at this track specifically. Uh, as we when we look at the last three years, uh, Leclerc yeah. did better than Science on, Su- on Suzuki. So yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'll be honest, I've really meant to put uh science in uh second for the race but uh yeah hello uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i'm gonna keep to it and i'm gonna go even crazy i'm gonna prepare as next because i don't know why i'm taking wow. risks i'm doing i'm doing silly things this, uh, this... wow um this one is a huge risk yeah because Perez wasn't wasn't good here last year right yeah, he he got like, qualified by max like eight, by like eight tenths of a second, like it's a ridiculous gap. And Perez was still like top five or top six. But <laughs> uh, I'm going crazy out there, and I think he can do it. I think uh, I think he'll have a okay race this time, and he won't DNF um, <laughs> twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a uh... you know it, it, it's it's uh, the third. Tra- I'd say it's the third track for Perez. You've obviously got. Mexico, the Dutch Grand Prix, then the Japanese Grand Prix, based on the the connection between uh, Red Bull and Honda, even though that is going away. But uh, yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm making a little risky ones. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm not not you, believing in Perez. <laughs> you can go with the normal ones. You can go with the normal ones. I'm I'm going to get the points. You get me? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. You're that confident? I'm gonna I'm gonna put someone that you don't expect <laughs> normally. I'm gonna pick Oscar Piastri for P3. Oh, crazy! He got P2 in qualifying last year, and this year I just feel like it's gonna continue. Uh, he's gonna be good here as well. I'll qualify Lando. 
maybe not out raced him, but he will he will outgo for him in my opinion once again. And get a P3 as I expect McLaren to be very strong. Not not quite fighting for the victory, but you know, I mean P3 is still a very good job for on PS3. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh and it'll be it'll be good. Uh I was gonna go I was also gonna go for a McLaren boy next. Uh and that being the other McLaren boy of Lando Norris. Uh who obviously that's your one. <laughs> he's uh he's proven in the past. He's a he's a good driver, came here second uh second here last season and I think uh, he'll pick up a few few more points again here um in the race. I think that McLaren's gonna suit this track a lot more than normal and I'm looking forward to uh, a good weekend for McLaren as a whole. Yeah, definitely very, very sensible. And yeah, I I couldn't agree more, but I don't wanna pick the same one because you kinda need points over me and I'm I'm gonna pick signs for a P4 because of that. So um uh, yeah double Ferrari top four once again. Science is going to do well. I just don't feel like he's going to be quite up there with Leclerc uh, the front row. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I think, he's, yeah, you, you took a risk not picking Norris, but uh, I think Science is a good pick. Uh, my final pick will be Piastri. Uh, yeah, I'm picking Piastri. I we're gonna get to why I haven't picked uh, Leclerc later. Yeah, okay. but, uh, <laughs> I just realized you haven't picked Leclerc. I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've gone a bit crazy here. I'm okay. gonna pick Piastri again. I think the McLaren's gonna be quick on this circuit, and I actually think they're gonna do even better in the race. So uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, I kind of spoiled my P5 as well, Norris. Um, I don't think it's an explanation. Pretty much the same explanation for Piastri. I just feel like Piastri is going to outperform Norris in qualifying, just like last year. And yeah, Nor- uh, McLaren should be very strong at this track, just like last year. And uh, yeah, there's no reason to write them off for the podium fight, at least. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, you're missing Perez, but uh, that is you, you <laughs> tend to miss Perez every time, yeah. so yeah. Uh, that's not really a shock. Yeah, that's kind of, <laughs> kind of my strand now. That I don't really pick Perez for my top five in qualifying, especially after last year. I kind of learned my lesson. <laughs> hey, look, I, I, I've been, I got it right one week and wrong the next week, so uh, I'm, I'm close at least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shall we head on to the race now? Yeah, yeah. You can go for your Again, very taking no risks. <laughs> <laughs> the stepping on top. What? That that bozo holy who DNF'd on lap three on the last race. That was such a bad performance, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Due to no fault of zone. I hope they have that issue sorted. Well, actually, I don't hope they have that issue sorted. But I'm guessing they'll have that issue sorted. And he won't uh, have an an issue similar in the next few races. Yeah, picking, picking a driver for the win who hasn't scored any points in the last race, I mean, that's kind of bold. Okay, I'll put my extra bold prediction then. <laughs> okay, okay, let's not go that way. Okay. <laughs> my P1. My P1 is... And I, I really, really wanted to go for Charles, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, I know you did. That's just do it, do it, do it. No, 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 no. you're not gonna convince me. No, no, you're not. Just Max for the victory. It's it's just meant to be, unless there's another reliability issue or someone crashes into him, which I would not rule out. That turn one in Suzuka is very crash prone and. We saw that in 2020, no, sorry, 2019, that Charles and Max had a crash, I think, and then uh, Max DNF because of it. I think I remember something like that. Anyways, um, yeah, Max for the win. That's pretty much what we said for the past two years. Well, we did, did it only for last year, but if we did that for the year before, we pretty much would have the same thoughts. Max just will dominate this in in this race and there's nothing really we can do. Yeah. Well, uh, that's my optimism. 
Good optimism. Good optimism. Right. P2. Paris. Oh, it's risky. Uh, I actually... It's risky. Okay, this is... Yeah, yeah, I'm going Paris. I'm going out there. Look, look, all I'm saying is they also had 1-2 in Bahrain and... Uh, they they had 1-2 in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. They're obviously the quickest car. They had a bad weekend last week, but Perez starts P3, then he should come P2 unless he crashes. So, uh, mm. I'm going very modular, very boring, but uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't say this is boring. I would say this is pretty bold. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. Bold? I, bold. I, he's literally P2 in the Drivers' Championship still. It's P2, but that's... Well, that's mainly due to the Red Bull being so strong in the first two races, obviously. Oh, but... I, I'm wrong, by the way. Charles is P2. <laughs> oh. Okay, that, that's but just... At one point. <laughs> but he's P3. He's P3. Okay, I, I, I don't feel like he's going to be P3 after this race. Let's put it like that. Um, oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling back in my Ferrari boys to... You think science is coming that six, getting that six points? Yeah, <laughs> I'll, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm saying. Uh, my P2 is Charles Leclerc. I think that's uh, that. Yeah, it's pretty much going to try to fight for the win, but Max is just going to have too much pace for him. And Charles is going to have a pretty lonely race in P2. Uh, just uh, quite a bit behind Max and quite far ahead of P3. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. You think a quite hot fired a P3. Now that's a risky one. And yeah. Because I'm guessing you're going to put sides next. And sides isn't oh. that. I mean, it was close. Mm. But uh, anyway, just, just, just a thought. I'm going to put Norris next. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is your podium? Oh my God. I don't think the Ferraris are going to be that quick in the race. Mm. Uh and as we've already seen, I'm not putting Leclerc up there. So yeah, yeah, Norris, Norris up next, taking a risk. But I think I've, you know, he's been what P3 twice now. Was he P3 in Australia? Um, so yeah, he was. if any, if anything, I'm just going off the average position for every driver, um, except the two Ferraris. Okay, <laughs> um, fair. The average position finished. He was P3 in... Oh, no, he wasn't P3 in Saudi. Sorry, my bad. He was, um, he was P8. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he, oh. he got stressed. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, Norris... Yeah, I'm still P3. going with Norris. I, I could definitely see this, see this happening, but just based on my predictions, I could just not put Norris there. And I'm not going to put Piastri either, as you said earlier. I'm going to put Sainz. I think Ferrari is going to have a double podium once again. Getting that constructors championship lead—that's one of my predictions. I don't know if, that, if it's a good for a good, bold enough for the extra bold predictions. I think you're not gonna let me do that, but I would, <laughs> I would definitely do that if you would let me. I just put it like that. Okay. Uh, just, just, just the, just the regular, just, just Ferrari doing well. Uh, right, okay. Uh, you know what? Piastri up next. Piastri P4. Uh, again, think the McLarens are going to be quicker than the Ferraris this weekend. But are qualifying, so yeah, Piastri and P4. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to ruin your day. <laughs> ruin I'm your day with these predictions. If, if, your, if your predictions come true, then I'm, I'm probably like going to be so confused. This yeah, I I fully expect the McLarens to be closing qualifying, but in the race pace, I just feel like they're gonna struggle compared to Ferraris, and that's my thinking behind my predictions. But you're having the complete opposite prediction that McLaren is gonna be better than Ferrari in race pace, at least from unless both Ferraris DNF in your predictions, which I don't really feel like is it's gonna happen. But I mean, you, you can you can you can do that, obviously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you from that. Uh, my P4 is Lana Norris. I feel like he's gonna. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think I feel like this is gonna be very similar to last year, 
PS Trail qualifying Norris, but Norris beating him in the race. Perhaps some some team orders as they like to do in McLaren. Whenever Norris is behind Piastri, they just tell Piastri to move aside because I mean, I mean it's 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 logical in some in some instances, but I feel like it's happening too often nowadays. And sometimes they're just not even fighting uh, like anyone. I just swap them because Lano doesn't want to get stuck behind him. And mm, yeah, yeah, kind of want to see them fight a bit more. But that's just my opinion. That'd be interesting. I like how we haven't had a single one the same. And we won't have the single one the same, because up next for me is Leclerc. I'll put him P5. Just for you, he's going to get a friendly P5. <laughs> okay, uh, I have no idea what's what happening in the like, I, I, would, I would understand that Charles is going to have some kind of crash in, uh, in qualifying, and Sainz is going to have uh, like an engine failure in the race, or I'm assuming that's kind of what's gonna happen. That would that would be crazy. I'm ju- I'm just making random predictions. I can't. Okay. <laughs> I, I, you're you're already seven points behind. Okay, I need to get points over me. Hey, look, I'm gonna gain those points this weekend. Okay. Okay. F- fair enough. If, if you if you I'm do getting that, um... every single prediction right. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're very confident. <laughs> um. Yeah. If I if I outscore this weekend, which shouldn't happen according to laws of the universe. Um, yeah. I'm probably going to put Sergeant into P1 every single time. <laughs> Just it's, it's, my, it's, my, it's my birthday weekend, you know? It's got to happen. Okay, that's that's fair. You're going <laughs> to get lucky on your birthday. Um, yeah, my P5 is PS3. I uh, explained it all that earlier. Uh, yeah, this doesn't, doesn't need more explanation. That's fair. Uh, uh, okay, fast to slap. Uh, I'm not going to take any risks here. I'm going for Stappen. Uh, unlike last week, I'm just going to go the bog standard for Stappen, fast to slap. Uh, you'll go Leclerc and somehow be right again. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to go for Science, but now that I did you pick Max, um, <laughs> this is the thing I. You, if, if I feel if I pick Leclerc, I feel like I'm gonna get the points, so I can don't wanna do that. No, no, you want to look look, you could absolutely destroy Remember there's still twenty what, twenty races left? Twenty one? Okay. okay, I'm gonna put it You need the now. points. You need the points. I'm gonna get the early lead just like just like Leclerc Le- 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 in twenty twenty two and I'm gonna completely bottle the title fight. <laughs> <laughs> was it not me that got the early lead last time and <laughs> bottled yeah. it? I, <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think we were pretty much equal, but um, and then then you you got a lead for like a couple of races, and then I just overtook you and just never looked back. It's pretty much. Uh, now we get to the section which is difficult, right? Because we've discussed oh, yeah. this before. How does le- what does least impressive mean for Mercedes? Does it mean behind the Astons? Um, I think least impressive is just like at at best the fifth fastest team right now because that's pretty much where they are. Like if it was, you think for, they're actually slower than the Astons? I think they are. It's just Stroll isn't, you know. Isn't another Alonso? If if they would have two Alonsos, they would be ahead in the constructors. That's that's what I'm thinking. Mm, it's difficult. It's difficult. I feel like in qualifying, maybe thanks to Russell's performances, they could be the fastest car, faster car. But in the races, they have just awful race pace. That's fair. That's fair. I'm still gonna go uh, no, because you if they come ninth and tenth, then right. Is well, an argument that they the, weren't least impressive. That's the top, and I I feel like we should we should also like put it that way. Yeah, they should at least get the one Q two elimination, at least right. Because mm, kind of okay. kind of feels like Mercedes is gonna do that, and sooner they're just gonna put put a P eight somehow. <laughs> yeah, you, fine. I'll go Alpine. Okay, that <laughs> that's making them being the slowest team as well as the completely 
We'll, we'll get game. to the arguments next week. We're just, we're just, I'm all just right. gonna put them out. There. I, I guess so. I mean, if all the all all other nine teams are are just average and Alpine is just even, I'm thinking their cars literally had the least development, and it's the trick. It's the trickiest, one of the trickiest tracks on the calendar. Mm. Uh, I mean, so I'm if, just gonna put them out there. If they like double the NF, this is straight up point, but uh, it would depend on the other teams as well. They could definitely double DNF. Uh, anyway, yeah, it all depends on the other teams. This is pretty much guesswork. Anyway, your your team. Hmm. Interesting. Um. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm I'm. I have this feeling that I don't know. They're gonna crash another chassis. Are they gonna have a one car in the race once uh, again? Okay. And okay. Score, and score no points because the that one driver is gonna probably get the chassis even if they. Crash the chassis maybe again. They still won't score points. And based on last last week last weekend, uh, I I I was very very much sad and just 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 I it didn't understand the decision. Uh, I just I explained you did it. Not, no. Yeah, I explained it the uh, last time. Just really disliked the decision. And yeah, Williams kind of I kind of started to not really like the team because of it. it just how my brain works. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put that there just because of vibes now. Uh up next for me is Science. Uh he drops out of the top ten for me. That's that's disappointing. Uh and I don't think it's I think it will be his fault. Uh, so yeah, random okay. prediction, but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fair. It's it's completely fair. He was the he was the race winner, so Yeah. Um uh Maybe, or oh, actually, based on my prediction, surely I should put Ferrari in. No, I'm done. It's fine. <laughs> my least impressive is Perez. Yes, that was obvious. Where, where does that mean he comes, right? That's. He has to have a, a worse weekend in Australia. Because Australia okay. was, was something they expected. Here, I expected him to have a. Worse he, came, weekend. he came fifth, right, in Australia. He, yeah, he qualified third, dropped the sixth for the race start, and uh, finished the race in fifth behind both Ferrari and Bowen McLaren. In my opinion, he's going to have. He, he's going to struggle even more and just be in that area with Mercedes and Aston Martins, maybe even behind, or maybe even a crash, or whatever. Just, I feel like it's going to be the least impressive of everyone. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, uh, up next is most impressive team. I'm going to put down my tried and true tested formula of Tara Rossa. Okay. Just put them every time. Yeah, I got to see put them there happens. every time I see them. Um, yeah, I put it's... them in least impressive for one se- one time, so. <laughs> yeah, was, it, was it the last time? No, uh, it wasn't because uh, you, you yeah, put them yeah. the most impressive and they got they got you keen points. So no, the time before I put them the least impressive. Yeah, um, yeah, and I yeah. think they were most impressive, or something happened in most to that. that yeah, most impressive that is kind of kind of like good points finish, pretty much. Just at least one driver, like kind of kind of like Australia. Yeah. If, if the, yeah, exactly. I mean, if if Ferrari weren't the top two, I think Toro Rosso would have been the most impressive team. Yeah, this kind of also depends on uh, Ricardo if, if he's able to be up there, you know, at least a bit. Because it's like it's difficult, right? Because like for most impressive team, like Sonoda last week was amazing and got more points than the Hasses, for yeah. example, but. So he got more points than the Hasses on him, his own. But would you say that's most impressive team or most impressive driver? Because it's still a team effort to get him there, but also his teammate didn't do as good. So it's just it's a, it's a difficult talk, talking point, and it's basically per week we decide what what happens. So it's it's very difficult to decide, yeah. isn't it? It's mostly just a personal opinion because we're. We we can't possibly know just how quick the cars are. We just see the results. We and, need we need yeah. a third place. We need a third person adjudicator. Sometimes I feel. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. it is difficult to say. Honestly, we we don't have a spec series. We don't know. 
is how good the each single driver is against all the other 19. Obviously, my my bet would be that Max would still finish P1 even if everyone would have, would have the same car. But yeah, um, oh, that's okay. a different car, yeah. would, But you know, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> never know. Yeah, we'll we'll never know. We'll never know. Yes, that's the that's the love of F1. Yeah. My most impressive team. Hmm. Uh, putting Ferrari there based on my double podium is kind of. I don't know. It's, no, because they got one uh, and two last yeah, week. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this this is not worth it. McLaren P four P five. That's they'd have to get one and two again. I feel. Yeah, McLaren would need to have like a, at least what they got last time as well. And, yeah. And yeah, this. What other team do I pick? I need to pick some other midfield team that you haven't picked. And yeah, you can know. pick Toro so if you believe in them. No. I, I, <laughs> I'm gonna pick Haas. I don't know. Oh, okay. I I put them in the least impressive team last time, and they got double points. So I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> they just keep keep just pro- proving me wrong, and they just keep doing like wonders with their car. I don't know how that happened last year. They were the slowest car on race pace on average throughout the entire season. Uh, they got pretty much like no development yeah. on this car. I just. How did they outdevelop like four teams of the grid? Uh, at least three, right? They they're better than Williams, uh, Alpine, and Sauber, right? How how yeah, did they, yeah. how did they do that? I, I'll, I'll never I'll never I I'll just never understand. So you're expecting double points again? I'm guessing. Then. I'm I'm expecting a Q3 and at least one point. Okay, okay. Um... Is that impressive though? Because they've done, they've had one point in the last three races or the last two races. I mean, they've okay. they've got a grand total of four points from the last two races. My okay, my prediction is that they're going to be top of the midfield, like straight. To be on. fair, yeah, yeah. To be fair, they didn't have both uh, Hamilton, Russell, and the staff yeah. were out the last. Yeah, race, exactly. So. They they would not score any yeah. points if it wasn't for the DNF. So. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Okay, uh, my next is Sonoda, because uh, it's his home race. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, <laughs> that's a uh, very good reasoning that I kind of wanted to use, but since I went for pass, I'm going to... Hmm, I actually kind of wanted to go for Magnuson just for a change, because I never never wanted to be Magnuson, I think, ever. Yeah, I'm going to go with K-Mac. Why not? He's going gonna, gonna to outperform Hulkenberg in this race. I just... Yeah, Ooh, here, here okay. Let's uh, win it. Okay. Right. Extra bold prediction. Uh, you could guess from mine. Ferrari. Uh, I I want I want I don't want to just put messes up. Right. Uh, pit stop. Tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of. Uh, let me put issues instead of tragedy. Yes. Apparently, just uh, some sort yeah. of issues with a Ferrari pit stop. That's very specific that my and prediction. Yeah, very, very specific. It's not rare though. It's specific, but it has happened a lot of times. It has, but uh, I just don't feel like Ferrari is that team anymore. Just there's, there's. You, you can, you can I, count I, on Ferrari being. He, the, you know the <laughs> the laughing stock of Formula One, but now they kind of just became relevant again. You know um, what I wanted to point: <laughs> Ferrari breaks your dreams. You That's a, what I wanted to point in my extra ball oh, prediction. Yeah. yeah, you could have had a Ferrari crash. I think that would be like more likely than this. But I mean, it's it's your predictions. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to convince you to pick something else and then lose points because of it. Obviously. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, I go extra bold. Yeah, also, yeah, the one time that I, <laughs> I, I thought you would pick Russell Crash, <laughs> he didn't like, lost points because and of then it. he did crash. God damn it! Okay, if, if Ferrari crashes and you're gonna lose points because of this, you're probably gonna pick every single thing I see. <laughs> no, no, I've got to stick to my guns. Okay, okay. Um, what did I pick? I kind of sh- actually haven't thought of this. Um, hmm. okay. Um, hmm. 
this Mercedes, uh, uh, at least one Mercedes out in Q2, uh, bold enough? Um, no, because it's happened the last two races. Oh, did it? Was it not? I, uh, I last think, race. Oh, yeah, only last, last race. race? Happened okay, last yeah, race, sure. Though. Sure, put it down. Um, I think it will happen, though, is the issue. Yeah, that's, that's what I think as well. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the so it in <laughs> Is this bold enough? But it's probably the last. No, 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 no. They literally, they literally just had a double podium. Yeah, but that's the only one double podium like ever since Italy twenty twenty two or twenty twenty three. Sorry, Monza twenty twenty three. That was the last double podium, I think. Before that, right? I. I Put, put instead, why don't you put instead only one Red Bull on the podium? Is that, <laughs> that I feel, I feel is like it it's, a bold? It's, You've it's, done it before. You, I'm literally looking at Saudi. You did it before. Um, no, you know what? I'll let you have the double podium. I'll let you have the double podium because at least there you're being specific. Because if not, like, if I say, if I take that away from you, then you're going to, Norris gets on the podium instead of uh, Perez that I'm going to f- fuming at myself. Yeah, I, I just don't feel like Perez is going to be anywhere near a podium, and that's just... Yeah, I I feel like that's going to happen, the the Ferrari, uh, sorry, uh, Red Bull being just, having just one car on the podium. Uh, I kind of put it as a bold prediction if I think it's going to happen, like straight up happen. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Great predictions. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to be right. Uh, so uh, I'm excited for that. Uh, I, hope, I hope you're right. Obviously, not with the race results, uh, especially if it's the one two of Red Bull. So I don't really want to see that happen. But if if you get points over me, at least that's that's one positive thing about it. Because I don't want to I don't want to lead by too many points coming Imola or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um. There's just one thing I think I, f- I forgot to switch to my spreadsheet once again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Here's a spreadsheet for anyone who's been watching the video up to this, this point. Uh, these, are, these are our predictions that I somehow forgot to put to the video. I'm sorry. I, this has happened second time in three races. And luckily, I, I, I already realized during the recording and not after it, like last time. It was unfortunate. Yeah. Um, sorry for uh, for the weird um, footage, but I mean, yeah, there's nothing the um, I can do anymore about it. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna wrap it up. I think um, we're gonna do the reaction. Hopefully, uh, at least on Thursday next week. I feel like yes, yeah. Chinese Chinese Grand Prix is two weeks after Japanese Grand Prix, so we still have this week gap. We can fit into, and we don't have to do two things at once, which is good. So, so yeah, we'll see oh, you. Two things at once is always so difficult. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you at latest next week for Japanese Grand Prix reaction, and we're gonna thank you for watching another video of ours. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Like the video and comment down below what you see from us moving forward. And yeah, uh, see ya, everyone. Bye. Peace.